Cougars, one run on two hits. There was one Indian error and one runner left on base. I mean, we, as it rolled in, me, my wife, and my youngest son all walked outside and it was hot. And within two minutes, it had cooled off at least 10 degrees. on one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. Six five. I think he's one eighty five. He throws in the low to mid nineties. Yes. and one runner left on base. Oh! 
One run on one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. <laughs> a little more, a little more effort involved in those two sports. That's true. Yeah, I did uh, Landfear and Lincoln in the sectional that year. Oh. Was it, I, I think that's what they called it. Oh, the one that I saw said that they called it. Well, called they, it they, they Saturday. Oh, you reach out and grab that ball. That's a gapper. Oof. Two. Well, the Cougars in the top of the fifth inning, four runs on four hits, no errors, and one runner left on base. <laughs> and then I didn't realize the physical plan. Opened it up. Okay. Got a chance. Oh, I thought he caught it at first. He got his glove on. Oh, that's a wow. Over his head. That's chance. over his head. No, it's done. No, it's done. Oh my God! No runs on one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. in the bottom of the sixth inning, one run on two hits, no errors, and two runners left on base. Oh, my 
The Indians scored seven runs on seven hits, committing one error win. And the out. Yeah! Yeah! Walk, walk off, walk. Talk us through that drama at, in the bottom of the seventh. Uh, it was bottom of the sixth, too, when we were down one. I was just thinking next guy up. Uh, and that seventh inning, I'll just uh, put the ball in play, see what happens, and if uh, he walks me, then we win. What's going through your mind when you guys are trailing and then you came back and you end up winning the game? The versatility you guys showed did not give up. Uh, you know, just that we don't have any quit. We wanted this so bad, and uh, we still got two more games to win. From a senior standpoint, what's it mean to you to go to state in front of this Altamont faithful? Uh, even two years before we were in high school, I remember coming out here as a seventh and eighth grader and watching our team come short of those two games. Um, and then these last four years, it's just been a grind. We've missed it by a couple pitches twice now, and you know it just feels great that we're finally going there. Caden, right now, what's currently going through your mind? We just made school history. Um, we did it as a team. It started off in the first inning when when we got on that on this fastball slider, and we just went from there and just. I don't like. I can't really tell you what's going through my mind right now. What does versatility show with this team not giving up? It just means that we just don't give up. We've worked all year for this moment right here, and just the team just doesn't give up. Bottom of the seventh, the bases loaded. When the walk happens and the Altamont faithful supporting you, what's going through your mind there with the storm in the field? Uh, we just we just won a super selection for the first time in school history, and just everything. Um, what's going through your mind there? You had the lead. Then you gave the lead up, but then Eli walk off walk. For a game then like that, what's going through your mind as a coach? Oh, just just watching the kids stay in it. You know, everybody was battling it, all the way up and down the dugout. It was it was take quality at bats, take quality at bats, take quality at bats, and and you knew there was a good chance that we was gonna we was gonna do something special. I don't know if I seen it was a walk off uh, walk, but but. We knew he was ready. Cade Miller was on his game today. Home run, I mean, three for four. What do you have to say about Cade, though, getting out of a big jam, though, and that guy to lead off triple in the seventh inning? Oh, it, we kept telling Cade he was he was the best pitcher out there, and he just finally believed it. I mean, he is a bulldog, and, and, and he's only a sophomore. I mean, he's only going to get better. But to see these seniors, this moment happen for them, what's that mean to you more than anything? More than anything is those seniors putting in four years of hard work and and seeing it, you know, come to an accumulation of going to state. Not only that, but you look around out here and there's a lot of alumni running around out here that wish they could have had this chance, maybe had this chance to play on this field, and now we finally get to go play in Peoria.